Podcast. Back at it again with another makeup, makeup tutorial. tutorial. Today we had this little smoky moment that I filmed because I was depressed and anxious. But you guys already know that. You know the fucking vibes. <laughs> So, yeah, I was feeling really unwell today, kind of out of it, not really feeling myself. So I decided to feel this fantasy, okay? And to be honest, it worked. I feel so much better now. And that's on 100. That's on period. Anyways, um, I filmed an intro before this and I was having an anxiety attack. So I'm going to use this one instead. <laughs> Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. So this is an airbrush foundation. It mimics um, like the professional airbrushing, which ain't nobody have time for and ain't nobody got the money for. So it is kind of pricey. It's freaking Zion. But as you can see, it's so cool. I just get to spray my neck like that. I don't have to blend it with a brush. It's the tits. So concealer isn't only used for blemishes. As you can see, I put it around my mouth because I felt like I had some darkness in that area. I've been sick, as you can tell by my voice. And um, it's just a little dark and dry and patchy there. So I put the concealer to brighten things up. Same with the bridge of the nose. It adds a highlight and makes your nose look more pinched. Whoa. I promise you guys a natural brow tutorial will be coming soon, but I want to show you how I achieve a contoured brow which is a lot more structured, a lot darker, and requires a little more patience. So I use little hair-like strokes going in the direction of the brow, and then as you can see here, I'm outlining the outside of my brow so that it appears thicker and more strong. So this can get a little messy. So I'm about to use my fingertip to help manipulate the shape of the brow that I want. Then I repeat what I did on the top on the bottom of my brow, using hair-like strokes to outline the brow. So normally I would just do upward hair strokes, but since this is a stronger brow, I'm gonna go ahead and outline the bottom of the brow. This adds lift and more structure. Woof. Then I draw hair-like strokes that connect to the outline on the bottom just to make it look real. And then I do an outline on the top to finish it off. <laughs> Exposed. That's the difference a brow makes, fam. that this is sped up it takes a long time to achieve blended out eyeshadow if you don't have the time you don't have the time but this is not your average going to the grocery store look anyways so take it with a grain of salt So 
So for this specific look, I'm kind of being messy here because I'm gonna end up cutting the crease with concealer later. So it doesn't really matter how messy my lid looks because I'm gonna create a new one anyways. Also, I used brown. Tell me why this looks green. Tell me why it looks green. So here's a close-up shot of me cutting the crease. So a little trick you can do is pat the concealer on and then look up, what? except don't have it on your eyelashes like I did. And that will tell you, kind of give you a guideline of where you should be putting the product. So this technique makes your eyelids appear bigger. I have hooded eyes, so when I look forward, I kind of lose the shadow that's on my lid. So this is a great way to trick the eye into thinking you have bigger eyes. So here you can see how my left eye now looks bigger. look green you saw it's brown huh Woof. wow feel that fantasy sis so in the next clip you're gonna see that I just trimmed this eyelash and I'm just making sure it fits you should really always trim your eyelashes because eyelashes are not one size fits all. I have pretty small eyes, so every time I gotta trim them. And here you can see I secure the eyelash in the middle first, and then go to the inner corner, and then lastly the outer corner. difference a lash makes. show you a little trick if you have any light powder um, of course you can put it underneath your eyes to brighten but you can also kind of reverse contour and clean up the edges of your bronzer to make your face look more snatched and it just really cleans things up doing close your mouth be a classy lady pitch black outside now so I have to turn the brightness on because you're looking like a crack head. Woo! Time for lips, my favorite part. So normally I use a lip liner, but if you have a liquid to matte lipstick, you can take a darker color like I'm doing right now, go along the edges of your lip, and treat it like a lip liner. And that
then you can take a lighter liquid lipstick or regular lipstick and put it in the center of your lips to make them appear more plump. Woof. Attention, attention. This lip gloss is the best. Any of the Fenty Gloss Bomb colors, you have to own one. They're so moisturizing, they're not sticky, truly and honestly the best ever. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, my anxiety's gone. And just like that, my whole day turned around. This was so soothing to me. If you guys have any type of mental illness or if you're just struggling from stress of daily life, I highly recommend that you pick up a creative hobby or activity like coloring, playing an instrument, because it's a healthy way of coping with stress. And that's it, people. Catch you on the flip side. Yee yee. The power of makeup is real, it's real. Whoa.